welcome back you guys to the amazing spider-man fan here and in this news video we are having a look at some brand new spider-man far from home action figures and of course as usual there are some i hate and then some i like and while we're talking i will just let you know the ones that i hate and the ones that i uh love even a little bit so anyways there's at least one figure in here that's already been shown in multiple images from Toy Fair. So, and that's actually the first one we're having a look at. And uh, so, let's have a look at it. So, this one uh, you can see is um, just the Homecoming Spider Man suit. But instead, all the black that's actually on the suit itself is painted uh, lightish blue. Like this lightish blue paint kind of color. And um, yeah, so you can obviously see that the black uh, stripe on his arm that goes down to his uh, torso and uh, around his waist. And the ones on his arms and even on his legs, on his boots, are painted in this light blue color. And it looks like his little accessory is just going to be uh, like these web wings. And uh, web wings are also painted in the exact same color as uh, as a suit. So this is for Spider Man Far From Home. So I don't know if this will even pop up or if this is like a lighting feature in his suit that we didn't know about. Uh, you know, I just don't know about it. But anyways, here is a look at the image from Toy Fair. And here is an image that we were just looking at. And as you can see, it's the exact same figure. So I saw this months ago, and I do believe this same figure is coming out with another set where you can get him inside of a giant like helicopter thing. So I'm not so sure, but uh, yeah, I don't know if this will be in the movie or if this is just a figure just to make uh, money with. So I mean, all figures are used uh, to make money, but still, like most of the time, figures can spoil a few things from the movie and it doesn't look like this will be a spoiler and here's a look at another figure which is sort of a mixture of two uh, different suits uh, it looks to be the homecoming suit like the one we had before and the ones that we've seen in the movies and everything and it sort of got these goggle eye things that are, are seen on the uh, on uh, the uh, stealth suit, the shield stealth suit, but it's on him, and for some reason he was sort of uh, casted in this translucent uh, bluish, purplish plastic. You can see right through him, and that kind of brought us some theories for me, because this is a stealth suit most likely. So, I was thinking maybe the stealth suit's power could actually be turning invisible, like you could see right through it almost. So I thought that would be the suit power, but this doesn't look to be the uh, shield stealth suit. It just looks like the regular homecoming suit with the eyes from the stealth suit on. So it is kind of weird why they have that, but this figure isn't blowing my mind or anything. I'm not too high on it, but like I said, maybe this could spoil uh, maybe like something interesting for the movie. Uh, you know, I'm not so sure why they have it. It has the uh, the goggles on there with the homecoming suit or why the homecoming suit is, uh, is in this bluish purplish clear plastic I don't know why they did that uh, but this figure isn't really special to me at all and um, here we're having a look at of course this figure and the next one are going to be basically my favorites I have to say like I said there were two I hated and two I uh, I liked and we just got done with the ones I hated now we're getting on to the ones that I love and obviously you know I am very high on this shield stealth suit okay because you know it just looks awesome I do love the black a lot and especially on this figure I love this figure uh, not only is it sculpted very nicely and you can see the texturing and sort of this um, sandpaper uh, roughness kind of look to it. It sort of has that kind of rough look to it. And, uh, you know, it's just, it just looks awesome. The paint on it 
is phenomenal. I do love the white spider uh, sort of, um, you know, symbol right there on on the side of his armor. And that's just nice. And I do love the gloves and everything. And it just looks really, really cool. And the white portion of the eyes, uh, they are white in the uh, movie. But it seems in this figure, they have it in this sort of... Uh, this really shiny silver color and it really brings this figure out. I don't know why, but I'm really in love with the goggles, the the Spider-Man eyes. I don't know why, but I just love them a lot. Um, I'm really impressed with this figure and he comes with this little clamp thing. Uh, nothing too special. And, you know, I can, I can put aside the little extra piece that he comes with and just get the figure. Uh, they never really come with any interesting accessories anyways but this figure yeah I, I really love this figure a lot the gloves the suit uh, the way it's been painted sculpted and the silver eyes is just it's just awesome and of course we got another one now look if you have seen my videos uh, you know that um, I really really love the design of the molten man uh, from Spider-Man Far From Home, and obviously this figure really shows it. Uh, not as not as good as the pop figure, I say, um, because with the pop, uh, the bobblehead figure, they actually put in the paint detailing in there. You know, so the sculpt is not only really good, but they also did an amazing job of painting it red, uh, yellow, orange to give it that lava look. And then they have it uh, with black all over his face, portions of his arms, legs, chest, just to give that sort of like, um, sort of crusty kind of look to it that really reminds me of what a volcano would look like if it actually started walking around the city. You know, that's what it would look like. And unfortunately with this figure, it doesn't have that good paint detailing, but I still think it looks good. You can obviously, you can quite clearly see that the, the skull, skeleton looking face is there. And you can see how his body sort of like, it kind of looks like it's almost dripping or sort of melting down on itself. Um, it just really does look like lava. But unfortunately that, that stupid paint detailing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, all because of this sort of, it sort of has this orangey yellow kind of uh plastic and then it has sort of like this weird mixture of yellow and like gray kind of color for this wash over to kind of look like that uh, charred look and it just doesn't really it doesn't really work it kind of looks just like a big messy thing but I still think it looks pretty good even though I said that the paint is awful but the, but everything else is pretty much there. You can you can quite easily see that there are parts of metal sticking out of his back and his hand. Uh, you can even see inside of his uh, inside of his wrist. You can see a piece of metal inside of it, and I think that's really cool. You know, one of the things I really did love about Spider-Man Far From Home's design of Molten Man is that they didn't go for that really retarded classic of just like a regular man's body with uh, it just glowing red. With him shooting fire or has a fiery hair or whatever. This actually looks like a freaking uh, walking volcano. And uh, as we know with the Lego figure, he does have these like these giant molten chains that hang from him. Even though we don't see those molten chains with this figure, uh, I, I, I still cannot wait for it. I still think this figure is really nice with the big pieces of metal that stick out of his back and everything. And it's just really, really cool. So... Those are basically all the figures. I have to say, though, uh, the points of articulation don't look to be that much. They all look like their heads can uh, just rotate. Uh, their arms can come in and out and also rotate around. Also bend at the elbow and uh, sort of um, twist at the elbow as well. And it just looks like their legs can just bend up and back. I don't know if there's a point of articulation in the, uh, in the uh, E. But, yeah. But that is it for this video, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe for more Spider-Man videos. Thanks to all my subscribers, and I'll see you later.